we get this error message in the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Remastered and the error look like this, we say DirectX 12 is not supported on your system. Try running without the negative DX12 or negative D3D12 command line argument. Now this is very easy to fix. If you go to this Steam page here for this game, which is Oblivion Remastered, The Elder Scrolls 4, scroll down on this section here and check for the system requirement. Now the game requires DirectX version 12, so make sure your PC has DirectX version 12. Now maybe if you've used this command line, which is negative DX12 or negative D3D12, to force your PC to run negative direct, DirectX 12 version, then you must have to remove them. So remove negative DX12 or negative D3D12 from Steam launch option. Now if you download the game through Steam, just open the Steam, go to your Steam library here, now look for your game, which is Oblivion. Let's say this is your game. Just right click on it and then go here to properties. Now on the launch option here, make sure it's clear and nothing has been written here. So if you've written negative DX12 like this, make sure to remove it and make sure it's empty like this. Now try to relaunch the game to see if your issue has been resolved. If you're still facing again the same problem, now let's go to step number two, which is check your GPU for DirectX 12 support. Now since this game required version 12 for DirectX to run, now make sure your GPU supports DirectX 12 support. Now how do you check it? It's very easy. Press window plus R and type DX DAG and press enter. Now it will open the DirectX diagnostic tool. Now go to the display tab, look for feature levels and check if DirectX 12 feature level 12 is listed. DirectX 12 requires at least 12.0 or 12.1 to run. So make sure at least you have 12.0 or 12.1 to run. Now just press window plus R and type this DX DAG. Now click op OK. Now it will open this diagnostic tool for DirectX. Now select here display. Now on the feature levels here, just make sure to have at least 12.0. As you can see, I have a lot of DirectX feature levels here for 12. So my PC supports a lot of feature levels. As you can see, 12.2, 12.1, 12.0. So make sure you have at least 12.0 or 12.1 to run it. Now maybe if you it supports but are still facing again the same issue, just continue listening to this tutorial very carefully. Now, if your GPU does not support DirectX 12, there is no other way to resolve this issue. You need to upgrade your PC or use cloud gaming services like GeForce Now. So if your PC doesn't support this DirectX feature levels 12.0 to 12.1, then you'll have to upgrade your PC or use cloud gaming services like GeForce Now. Now, if it supports but are still facing the same issue, now make sure to update your graphics drivers to the latest version. If you're using NVIDIA, make sure to use the NVIDIA app to update your graphics drivers. If you're using AMD, make sure to use the AMD Adrenaline software. So let's say you're using NVIDIA, search for the NVIDIA app and open it. Now go here to the drivers section and make sure the latest driver, it is 576.02. This is the latest driver. So you can just check here for check for updates. Click this spinning cycle and it will tell you this is up to date. So make sure the drivers are up to date. And after that, try to relaunch the game to check if your issue has been resolved. So this is the best guide on how to fix this issue. But the most common problem, make sure your GPU supports DirectX 12 support. If your GPU does not support DirectX 12, there is no other way to resolve this issue. You'll need to upgrade your PC or use cloud gaming services like GeForce Now. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.